back for another workout. Um, this one is going to take a little bit of equipment, but a lot of it's optional. So if you have a ball, grab that. If you have a bench or a step, something that maybe you could even jump up on, grab that. Um, some dumbbells and a mat, get all of that, and we're going to jump into it. I hope you can hear me. It's a little windy today. Um, we're just going to go for it and see what happens. our warm-up set. So we're going to be working out, but we're also going to be warming up. So we're going to ease into it. We're going to start with our ball. This is going to be 20 second intervals with 10 seconds rest. I got my watch set again. We're going to do everything two times, okay? So with your ball, first we're going to get in a position where we can do a lunge. Okay, I'm going to move my dumbbells out of the way. They were just holding down my mat while it was what we're going to do is you're going to take a step back and reach forward with that ball and then up, okay, right there. So that's going to be our first exercise and our warm-up. So just take it nice and gentle. Keep the range of motion small until you feel a little bit warmer and then make it bigger as you go. Okay, so I'm starting my watch. You ready for it? Here we go. Ball's here. Step back and take that ball nice and forward and then you can reach it up. And remember, keep the range of motion small at first. And then as you start to feel more warm, you can make it bigger, reaching further. Nice and high. Good. All right, that's 20 seconds right there. Next one, put that ball behind you. Now this is optional. You can do a find your balance right here and we're just going to hinge from the hips going that stretch in the hamstring and up it is hard to balance so if it's too much focus on this you can lift that leg get your single leg deadlift okay or if you get good with that ball find that balance down and up let's try that on the other leg don't worry we're going to do this all again so you'll have another chance all right, so if you can find your balance with your core tight, it's just a little deadlift motion. Focus it on the flat back. Shoulders back, chest lifted. Big now, next step. Good. Now, this next one is a push-up on the ball. single leg deadlift with or without the ball. Find your balance. Roll the shoulders back. Nice flat back. Core tight. Hinging forward. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Your hips go back just a little bit. You'll feel that stretch in the hamstring. Other side, same thing. With or without the ball, find your balance. You can always use that back leg as a kickstand. Takes a lot of the balance work out. Yeah, I'm struggling with my balance there too. Especially, I haven't been doing these very often lately. So I'm kind of out of practice. Find where you want to be. Inhale, exhale. 
Keep your head up, even here. Think about chin coming towards the floor. Belly button pulls up. Try not to let that back cave and curve in. Good. All right, that's our first step. Let's take a little bit longer rest right here, just for a minute. Hold my mat down. Oh, no. Now, we're going to move into some work with our weights, okay? You can throw that ball away. It'll probably come back to me with the wind. <laughs> First one, we're going to do a forward lunge this time with the knee and press, okay? So you're going to be stepping forward, pressing up, and then we're going to repeat. So it actually turns into a reverse lunge. You're going to go here, press, okay? So we're taking that reverse lunge just to the next level. We'll do that both sides. Then we're going to do a little Spider-Man move and a burpee, which I'm going to show you modifications for, okay? So go ahead and grab your weight. Roll those shoulders back. You can do this with two dumbbells or one. Okay, or no dumbbells. We got a few more seconds and then we're gonna start. Make sure you have room for that lunge. And remember, we're gonna take our knee up. Go ahead and get the weight or weights right here at your shoulder. Step forward and then press. Now you can do this with either hand as well. Like right here, I got same knee, same hand, pressing. I think when I was showing it to you, I was doing opposite. So you can do it either way, whichever way is more comfortable. Just press through the heel and up. Good, other side. Same thing, taking that big step forward and adding in that knee with the press. Weights up, stand tall, step forward, press. Make sure you change sides. Other side, same thing. Take it back. Weights up. Make sure you switch legs. Here we go. Rest.
little bit longer break and we're going to switch it up again. Still with the dumbbells. You're going to take those dumbbells. We're going to do a split squat right here. Done those before. Okay. If you don't have a bench, you can do them on the floor. Okay. Without the bench. Then we'll do the other side. Then we're going to do a calf raise. You can either do it right there on the ground. Or I'm going to show you an option here. It takes a little bit more balance. And you get a little bit of that stretch mixed in. And then we'll either do a box jump. Or if you don't have anywhere to jump, a squat jump. If you don't like to jump, we'll do a squat with a calf raise. Okay, so get your dumbbell. Remember, staying tall, belly tucked. Go ahead and find that good split stance. And this one, we're just going down and up. A few more seconds. Roll the shoulders back. Ready for it? Here we go. Down, press up. Nice and smooth. Weights in the heel in this front foot. Hips going back and down. Low, high. Think about that belly button zipping up when you stand up too. Zip. Other side. One foot forward. One foot back. Let's do it. Think about getting that good squeeze at the top, finishing the move. Good. Now, calf raise. You can keep your dumbbells or put them down. Remember, you can do it right here on the ground. Bring your weights right here or do them on your bench. If you want that little under bit skin. Also, a little bit more balance practice. And then the box jumps. Now, like I said, if you don't have a box, mine's just a nice little low step, okay? It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can either do a squat jump. Just get moving right now, wherever you are. If you don't want to do a jump, you can always do a calf raise here, okay? Just a little extra on that calf raise. Just working on those lower power muscles and also those glutes, quads, Four, it's all working. All right, let's do it again. Split squats. One leg forward, one leg back. Down and up. Next. Good to get that stretch in the front of that quad and that ham, that hip flexor on the one side. Digging nice and deep in that hip on the other side. Looking good. Exercise for runners right here. Good. All right, calf raises on the floor, on the bench, with the weights, without. My bench is a little squishy too, which doesn't help with the balance. Though. You can do these on a curb, anywhere. This is a good one to do after you've got a little warm up for your run, just before, just after. Loosen up that calf and that Achilles. Okay, good. Now back to that jump, either on the ground, just do a squat if you want. Okay, no jumping required. You want to challenge yourself and find a nice high spot. Just be careful. Good. All right. Now we're going to do a wood 
shop. This is something you can do with a kettlebell. I'm going to use a dumbbell. I'll have a kettlebell here at home. We're going to do one side and then the other. And then we're going to do a curtsy lunge. Which the curtsy lunge, you here and you go back and down. We'll use this dumbbell to get a little twist in the obliques. And then we're going to do a weighted squat jack. Which don't overthink it. Just take it wide, press it up. And that's one you can step out and in, okay? Again, if you don't want to jump. Back place. Let's see here. All right, ready? Let's chop. Take it down and up. Inhale, exhale. So that weight's coming right there to the outside of the knee. You exhale as you take it back. Up at that angle, in the obliques this round. Good, gonna do the other side. Same thing. Stand tall, pull the core in, take the weight up. Let's go. Down, up. And make sure not to let the back sway. Just think about standing tall at the top. No sway in the back. Good, you ready for that curtsy lunge? Weights right here in the front. Stick them with that single weight. If you find your balance on your left leg, right leg goes back and down and up, other side. Alternating side to side. Exhale at the bottom and up. Jack. I'll show you those options again. Start with legs wide. We're going down for a wide squat. Jump and press. Right there. Remember you got your walking option. Okay. You can take it down. You can do it without a weight. Back and down. Press. This one, if it's a little challenging, you can keep the range of motion smaller. Okay, not so low, not so twisty. Remember that. Here we go. One more time on that jack. Weights here. Let's do it. Back and down, press. Inhale, exhale. Remember your tap option, your no weight option. I just don't want you to have any reason to quit, okay? Just keep it safe, keep it moving. Find an option that works for you. All right, we 
got one more round. This next one, probably should have brought my lighter weights. We're going to be doing a lap raise, okay? Which I'll show you an alternating option. We're going to be doing another lunge. You know, we've done a lot of lunges today. So if you're sick of lunges, you can cut the lunges. But if you can, we're going to go down, lunge, then back, alternating. Then we're going to take it down to the mat for a single leg glute bridge and a press. And I'm going to show you an option on the step. I'll probably do mine with the step and let you do them on the floor if you want. down, neck relaxed, your body's doing a little seesaw motion, good, take that down, get ready, switch it out, adjust your weights as needed, belly tucked, here we go, press up, down, this is our last exercise, 
one foot over the other. Give it a little lean. Back to the center and other side. Inhale up to the top. Exhale round to the front, round in the back. Open across the chest. And then one more deep breath. Good. We're done. Thanks for joining me. Sorry about the wind. Can't control that. But what you can control is how much you're moving your body. So keep moving. Keep working.